Yo, what is up everybody? Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture some early Madden 25 gameplay for you guys. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress build, not the final build of Madden 25 that we were playing on. It is week four of the 2024 NFL season today as we take over Jaden Daniels taking on Marvin Harrison Jr. whom KKS is controlling today. This should be a fun one in the desert. Once more, K and I are matching up on the virtual gridiron. We're having a lot of fun matching up against each other so we're like you know what we got one more in us k comeback route going to marv open field oh he just burnt saint juice into a crisp that's gonna be an interesting matchup probably not a great one for us but that time saint juice forcing the tough catch and ultimately forcing the incompletion saint juice on the island again and look he's holding his own right now this commander secondary is less than desirable to play man coverage but i'm willing to give it a try and you know what We've got ourselves a fourth down. Now the Cardinals offense is on the field. We just got to get one more stop. You know where Kyler wants to go. Finding Harrison Jr. for the first down. Though that time we made the grave mistake of accidentally leaving Bobby Wagner on Marv. That would not work with prime Bobby Wagner, I would assume. But Commander's Bobby Wagner? Absolutely not. As Maserati Marv kicks it into high gear for the touchdown on the end around. I thought we would get the angle with St. Juice, but Marv literally kicked it into high gear, and there was just no catching him from there, so yeah, that was a decent opening drive defensively, I would say, but we're gonna have to play better defense on Marv if we want to have a chance in this game, as Jaden Daniels starting the game off with a read option. Jaden Daniels definitely has mobility in his game, and the test is gonna be, can he pass from the pocket? Now, he certainly did that at LSU, and that's why he's the number two overall pick of this year's draft, and we'll see what he can cook up with a pretty talented commander's offense of course we have terry mclaurin that's our bona fide number one receiver we also have Jahan dotson you have austin eckler a very quarterback friendly running back as a receiving option as we put dotson in motion oh dotson's running all around town he's gonna get the ball it's an rpo and dotson springs himself open he'll get the first down and more spinning three for the price of one Jahan Dotson with the sexy spin move, setting up a goal to go at the seven as we give it to Eckler, who has intentions to pass, but he'll run it in for six. That was indeed a double pass. Austin Eckler could have thrown it to McCorn. I think we also had an option to throw it to the receiver on the uh, right side of the field. Though the run was just way too open. I wasn't going to force that pass if the option to run it with Eckler was there, which, yeah, sure, we'll take it, so... Uh, you know, Jaden looked pretty good, right? If Jaden can make the throws from the pocket, I mean, he's going to be a killer out there in Washington for sure. As uh, now we go to some zone coverage and I try to bracket Marv. This is where, I, you know, the buck ends. Too much Marvin Harrison for my blood. We'll get the interception with Frankie Lou. Yeah, I tried to, you know, bracket him with some zone coverage. Did not work. Ooh, Austin Eckler breaking ankles into the second level. The spin move. Austin Eckler, you can't bring him down. The termination wins out for Austin Eckler. He scores one heck of a touchdown. One play is all we needed. And that was a direct snap to Austin Eckler. You might have known noticed it worked out well we definitely caught k off guard right there pulling out all the tricks from college football 25 double passes all that fun stuff as rondale moore just stuck in the mud trying to return that ball as oh kyler murray you know there's uh, some fast quarterbacks out there for sure Jaden daniels might want to look up to kyler murray as one of those guys who can run around and deliver a dime there goes maserati marv away from the pack once more he stamps his approval here at State Farm Stadium as he gets the long bomb for six. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, we were getting away with pressing St. Juiced and, you know, he was able to get the swats. I guess we were asking for trouble with that one, right? We went to the well one too many times as Jaden Daniels from his own four-yard line. We absolutely messed up the kick return. I was thinking about letting it go, and that indecisiveness has us operating from inside our own territory, from inside our own end zone. Thankfully, Jaden Daniels able to eat on that read option, bring up a third down the short, and McCaffrey, I know what you're thinking. What? That's not C-Mac, right? It's not. It's his brother, Luke McCaffrey, who was drafted by the Commanders. I believe he was drafted in one of the late rounds. If not undrafted free agent my apologies is daniels getting busy design run spinning away from baker daniels elusive in the open field and we'll see if you know you put a quarterback spy what do you do about this 
The contains not working. Jaden Daniels is taking over this game with his legs. As we come out the two-minute warning, Daniels once more. We've got options. We've got that RPO outside. But if the run is there, that's the easiest play to make. And Jaden Daniels already with five rushes for 50 yards. A lot of that coming on this drive as... Luke McCaffrey is getting busy, man. I talked about all the weapons on this commander's team. McCaffrey was not one I had in mind, but hey, man, he could develop into something. Who knows? Those McCaffreys, they definitely know how to play ball. As That was the swing pass. Eckhart did not work out. Second down. Just using a lot of motion, causing a lot of commotion. Jaden Daniels, what can he do? He's buying time. He's racing upfield. We're going to get positive yards out of a completely broken play. 42 seconds left in this first half. That's McCaffrey with the motion and... I don't even think he caught that. Didn't really matter if we did catch it. Buda Baker was sitting on that one. So we'll take our field goal. That's fine, right? You know, 37 seconds left in the half. I'm okay with getting a four-point lead. Just as long as we don't give up any crazy plays. As now Marvin Harrison has switched to being the kick returner for the Arizona Cardinals. And Marvin Harrison is fooling around. That is F around and find out if I've ever seen it. Marvin, what are you playing at, son? As Zach Ertz on the RPO. Ooh, almost got the touchdown for the former Arizona Cardinal, but it didn't really matter if we did because that was illegal man downfield, so you bring it back five yards, and Aqua is going to go even further back than that. Thankfully, it's an incompletion. Funny to say incompletion by Austin Eckler. Yo! A rainbow to Terry McLaurin, and it's pure sunshine for the Washington Commanders. Jaden Daniels, he just might be that guy. The flea flicker to Kyler. Ah, uh, that, I mean, that definitely caught us off guard. That had all the potential in the world to work, but that flea flicker is just hard to set up. You need perfect blocking, and they didn't quite get it. Final play of the half, and Marvin Harrison Jr. has been uncorked. No one in his zip code. A Hail Mary to end the first half for Harrison and the Cardinals. And that was my fault right there. I got caught trying to set up the defense. I don't really know what I was trying to set up with three seconds left, but I was going to be on that safety just to make sure Marvin didn't make a catch. And I ended up switching myself to the D-line by accident and ended up giving up a touchdown by accident. That was literally worst case scenario because this is like the one thing you can't give up. Okay, literally called Hail Mary and we gave him a layup. So yeah, now we got ourselves only a four point lead in a game that it feels like we've been controlling all throughout. And now all of a sudden our opening drive it's starting to stalemate here. It's fourth down and three. And I got the offense on the field. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures. And Shaden Daniels. He's cool under pressure, man. Fourth down and three. Design quarterback run. Do you call that for a rookie? Probably not. But I trust in Jaden. And Jaden trusts in Terry. McLaurin keeping his balance and waving the pack goodbye. Scary Terry spooks the Cardinals at State Farm. That's great redemption for our boo-boo to end the first half for sure. It doesn't make up for it because, I mean, we just have a bigger lead. But, I mean, nonetheless, we'll take that. Offense definitely flowing for both squads right now as Marvin, I mean, he's just in a war right now with Benjamin St. Just is Here we go. End the round. This time, we didn't play great defense, but we played better defense. I didn't make the tackle myself, but... You know, I'm a team player. I set up my teammates to make the play. What can I say? <laughs> As Marvin Harrison making the catch. Open field. Kyler working on a pretty decent day so far. Ooh, but that indecisiveness is going to cost him as he tried to step up. I don't know what that play was, but Deron is bringing the pain for sure. Kyler Murray standing strong in the pocket. The pass rush in this year's game, it feels like it's definitely tuned up. But, you know, right now, K is... Standing in there with the poise of a vet, delivering dimes. Not on that play. Definitely not on that play. St. Juice, he's, he's on swatting the ball, man. If he could just get two hands and pick that off one time, I'll take it. Bobby Wagner with the sack. I see you, Bobby. And Kay actually called a timeout right there. Third down and 14. Guys are gas. Kyler again just got it off to Marvin Harrison Jr. Six more on the board. Can they make it eight? Kyler! Oh, we tried to throw one up, and that was not going to fly. I mean, probably could we didn't have St. Juice on Mar, but it's going to be a five-point lead instead of a four-point lead. You got to go for that two-point conversion in that situation. We're getting to the fourth quarter. It's four-minute quarters. 
just was not able to convert it. Now let's see if we can, you know, work clock, whatever we got to do on this drive, put up more points. That is the main goal as Jaden Daniels, he'll scramble for another first down. You see, I'm working that formation with the two running backs flanking the right side, just trying to work that sprint rollout. It's a design rollout in the playbook, but you know, there's contains by the defensive ends. Might not work out too well. That worked out as expected. Thankfully, we got the fumble back. We definitely got bailed out. I was due to fumble the ball. Let's just say that the way I was juking around. Oh boy, four down. We're on the field at our own 32 yard line. Play faking defense bite. Man open. It's scary. Terry McLaurin once more doing his dance. Oh, disrespectful from Terry. Man, oh man, that's not going to win him over any of the fans in Arizona today, but it will certainly win over his commander teammates, Terry McLaurin, one-on-one. -on -one. We talked about Marvin Harrison is not a guy to leave on the island. I mean, come on, son. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a memeable moment right there. I honestly thought I was running a fake field goal, so I wasn't really too focused on the accuracy and the power. And when the ball went up, I was like, um, that's a normal kick. I might have missed it. Wait, I might have made it. No, we missed it. <laughs> so we do have ourselves an 11 point lead. Technically, both teams have failed uh, two point conversions on their previous drive is, whoa, what is this? It's a lateral. That was a lateral. It's going to go to the center, Nick Gates. Avoiding disasters, Arizona. K is definitely thinking outside the box right now. Kyler Murray once again rolling out. He keeps his eyes downfield. And that's Trey McBride, the trusty tight end. He'll take us to the two-minute warning. The Cardinals do have some life. Kyler's got some time. He's going to Marv, middle of the field. Dorrance Armstrong sneaking into coverage, making the tackle. Second down. Oh, lights out. Marvin Harrison is stuck in gear after that punishing blow. It's third down, it's play action, it's Kyler, Bobby on the blitz, Marvin with the grab. Kyler Murray over 400 yards passing. It's not enough, they need more. And what's going on here? It's a fake spike by Kyler. He's throwing it away, I think. I think that was an intentional throw. I'm not sure what that was. Here we go, third down at the one. Marv is in trouble. He's stuck in the mud. Dorrance Armstrong, huge tackle in the open field. This is do or die time for the Arizona Cardinals on fourth down. They have the offense on the field. Marv got it for the touchdown. Oh man, Bobby, I need you to just throw him out the club one time. Close, but no cigar as uh, K really wants to hit this end around. It worked originally, but I mean, come on now. We're going to that one too many times, aren't we? 24 seconds left, and surprisingly, it's no onside kick. So the Cardinals have no timeouts. That definitely benefits us, to say the least, as uh, just don't fumble the ball, I suppose. Trying to work out how to return a kickoff, that's not going to do it. So we'll fast forward to the end of the game, and that was a weird animation. A pull from Jaden Daniels, and he's ultimately pulled down to the ground. But that'll do it for this game. We'll get the dub, but ultimately a fun game once more with K. Uh, once again, K is uploading a bunch of early Madden 25 and always uploading Madden on his channel. If you're not subscribed to him, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But that's going to do it for today's video. Leave a like on this one if you guys enjoyed you guys saw subscribe for more madden 25 action and i will catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching